For decades, one name has reigned supreme in the prehistoric world, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Its image is burned into our minds. The ultimate predator, a walking, roaring, bone-crushing force of nature. From Hollywood blockbusters to museum halls, T-Rex is hailed as the undisputed king of the dinosaurs. But what if I told you that crown might have more than one rightful owner? What if the true king of the dinosaurs isn't quite as clear-cut as we think? Welcome to Terra Time Capsules, where we journey deep into Earth's ancient past to uncover the full, incredible story of prehistoric life. And today, we're going to challenge a legend. We're going to explore some other monstrous titans that might just steal T-Rex's crown, or at least share the royal duties. First, let's give credit where credit is due. Tyrannosaurus Rex was, undeniably, a beast of legendary proportions. Living around 68 to 66 million years ago, in what is now Western North America, this absolute powerhouse was truly a terror of the late Cretaceous. Standing up to 40 feet long and weighing up to 9 tons, T-Rex was built like a tank on two legs. But its most famous weapon, that bone-crushing bite. With a jaw force estimated at over 12,800 pounds per square inch, its bite was the strongest of any terrestrial animal ever, capable of shattering bone. It wasn't just big, it was perfectly adapted for its role as an apex predator in its ecosystem, preying on large herbivores like Triceratops and Edmontosaurus. It was the king of its domain, its time, and its place. No wonder T-Rex captures our imaginations. But remember that word, domain. Because the world was a very different place tens of millions of years ago, with different continents, different environments, and different giants ruling the roost. Let's travel south to another continent and meet a contender that might just have been even bigger. But size isn't everything, right? While Giganotosaurus dwarfed T-Rex in length, its bite force was considerably weaker, a mere third of T-Rex's crushing power. Instead of bone shattering, Giganotosaurus was built for slicing. Its blade-like serrated teeth were perfect for delivering massive, gaping wounds, causing its prey to bleed out quickly. This suggests a different hunting strategy, perhaps relying on speed and sustained attacks, possibly even hunting in groups, to take down immense sauropods like Argentinosaurus. So, while T-Rex was the crusher, Giganotosaurus was the slicer. Different weapons, different hunting styles, but both undeniably apex predators in their own unique corners of the world. But what about a king who ruled not just on land, but in the water too? Our next contender takes us across the Atlantic to the ancient rivers and swamps of what is now North Africa, existing around the same time as Giganotosaurus, about 99 to 93 million years ago. Prepare to meet Spinosaurus aegyptiacus, a creature so unique it completely reshaped our understanding of dinosaur ecology. Estimates place Spinosaurus as the longest known carnivorous dinosaur, potentially reaching over 50 feet in length. But what truly sets it apart is its semi-aquatic lifestyle. With adaptations like dense bones, powerful paddle-like tails, and those crocodile-like jaws, Spinosaurus was the first non-avian dinosaur confirmed to spend a significant amount of its life in water, hunting fish, and other aquatic creatures. While it could venture onto land, Spinosaurus was the undisputed king of its riverine domain. It filled an ecological niche unlike any other large theropod, proving that dominance isn't just about terrestrial strength, but about perfect adaptation to your environment. It even lived alongside other massive predators like Carcharodontosaurus, creating a complex food web where different giants ruled different habitats. But who was this other African titan? 
also roaming the same ancient landscapes of North Africa during the mid-Cretaceous, was Carcharodontosaurus saharicus. Its name means shark-toothed lizard. And for good reason. This colossal predator could rival Giganotosaurus in size, reaching up to 43 feet long and weighing perhaps 6 to 8 tons. It was a true heavyweight, living alongside Spinosaurus, but likely occupying a different part of the food chain, preying on large land animals. Unlike the bone-crushing T-Rex or the fish-eating Spinosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus possessed teeth that were serrated and flattened, much like a shark's. These were perfectly designed for slicing through flesh, delivering deep, debilitating wounds. While it may not have had the bite force of T-Rex, its sheer size and cutting ability made it a terrifying force in its African ecosystem. It was another formidable king, adapted to its own specific hunting grounds. So, after venturing through these lost worlds, we see that the title of King of the Dinosaurs isn't just a simple crown for one creature. Tyrannosaurus rex was indeed an unparalleled predator in its specific time and place. But the mighty Giganotosaurus dominated the south, the incredible Spinosaurus reigned in the waterways, and the formidable Carcharodontosaurus stalked the African plains. Each of these magnificent creatures was an apex predator, a ruler in its own right, perfectly adapted to its unique environment and the prey it hunted. The true king of the dinosaurs is a complex, ever-changing title, reflecting the incredible diversity and adaptations of prehistoric life across millions of years and vast continents. It's a testament to how life finds a way to dominate, no matter the challenges. What do you think? Who holds the true crown in your mind? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey through deep time and want to uncover more of Earth's ancient secrets, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Terra Time Capsules, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next adventure. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in the next time capsule.